Last summer, the Brighton parents ran a retreat for mothers and children at Rivendell. Seven women and 12 children aged between six months and 15 spent four sunny days together. We wanted to meet the needs of parents who were in need of a retreat, so wanted to have some childcare provided, and also those who just wanted to share a holiday in the country with other families. We felt concerned that some children's primary experience of Buddhism was of being left out while their parents meditated, went on retreat or to the centre, and we wanted to provide them with more information about Buddhism in a retreat-like setting. On the retreat, those children who wanted to came to pujas, which included stories from the life of the Buddha. He saw how everyone, from the smallest insect to the greatest king, runs after pleasure, only to end up with dissatisfaction. Oh, it's just writing. The older children performed a play based on their own interpretation of the Jataka tale, The Monkey Bridge. This involved them developing characters and a script and making scenery and costumes. The theme for the retreat was friendship and it turned out to be an excellent situation for getting to know each other and each other's children. Parents often have difficulty getting to the centre regularly and as many of us live a long way apart, we may not see one another from one month to the next. Developing spiritual friendships takes time, which is one thing most parents are short of. These obstacles can give rise to feelings of isolation and frustration. It's important for us to acknowledge our particular path and build up a sense of Sangha between parents so that we can support and help one another to maintain a broader perspective. It's, ni it's nice especially because the house has a good atmosphere, I think. It's because it's, it's so many nice things have happened here. It's got a really good, friendly atmosphere in the house. Um, it's really good here. So, on two of the nights I went for a midnight walk and um, I went to a few pujas, but um, I like them as well. Having children presents endless opportunities to put the five precepts into practice. Parenting evokes some of the most passionate feelings of love and attachment that human beings are capable of and yet ultimately we have to let go of our children. Watching children grow and finally leave home is for many of us a heartfelt experience of impermanence, which can help us to see that every moment is precious.